Hi there, my name is Brennan, and today we're going to make a video showing you how to put together the stove pipe from your Light Outdoors cylinder stove. So just so you guys know, this is going to be the trickiest part of putting your stove together for the first time. The titanium foil is going to resist going into the proper shape uh, until you burn it. And once you burn it the first time, then um, the stove pipe will naturally want to go into that shape and it makes putting it together a whole lot easier. So to start off I'm wearing some lightweight gloves. Uh, the titanium foil is pretty sharp on the edges. Um, it can give you little little cuts. So I choose to wear gloves. You don't need the gloves by any means. So let's get started. So when you get your stove it's going to come in two bags. You're going to have a bag like this and this this bag has your stove end plates and it has all the hardware that you need to put the stove together this bag has the stove body and the stove pipe itself um, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get into your your hardware and I've already done this and we're gonna need to get your cable rings that are gonna go around the stove pipe so you want to take their stove body and stove pipe out of the bag here so this is the stove body and the stove pipe is inside this I just want to make one little note here um, when it's wrapped up and when it's in your pack, it's actually quite durable. You can you can bang a good, you know, and it's not going to bend. When it's wrapped up with itself, it's actually quite strong, even though it's a thin material. So what you want to do is we're going to take the cables off. You're going to let it unwrap. So this is your stove body, this is your stove pipe. So we're going to put the stove body to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to take it down to a, if you have a, a big table that's, that's longer than 8 feet long, that would work perfect. Um, a lot of people won't have a table that large or workbench that large. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down um, to an open room where you have lots of floor space and we're going to roll this pipe. So the first thing you want to do is lay out your titanium foil on a hard surface. You can use heavy objects like books, tools to put on the ends of the foil so that it doesn't roll back into a coil. Take your cable rings, uh, divide them in half roughly and place them on either end of the pipe. The more people that you have, the easier it is to roll the first time. Today we have three people that is perfect. You can do it with two people, but it's really hard to do it by yourself. I wouldn't suggest it. I would say at least two, and if you could find a third or a fourth, then that would be the best. You can use a long pole, such as the pole you got with your tent, or you can use some PVC pipe, uh, anything that's long. It's not essential to have the pole or the PVC pipe, some people like to use it, other people don't like to use it, it's more of a matter of preference. Now what you want to do is start rolling your pipe. You want to be nice and smooth and controlled. Don't rush this step because this is the step where you put all the dings, the dents, and the creases into your pipe. So you want to be nice and smooth, try to keep everyone on the same page, uh, bending the pipe at the same rate, etc. Uh, what I find the easiest is to have the person sitting in the middle to hold everything kind of steady and tight and have people from either end feed the rings on. This is where gloves are key. At this sta stage, if you don't have gloves, there's a good chance that you're going to get cut.
Once you have some of the rings on, you can start evenly spacing them down the pipe. Okay, now that you've rolled your pipe, it's time to put in the damper. This is the damper here. So, on the pipe there's going to be one end that has two pre-drilled holes, and that's the holes that your damper fits into. So basically, you're going to get your damper, on the hooked end, you're going to put that in one of the holes. Like so. Okay, at this point you're going to squeeze the pipe into an oval. And you're going to feed it through that way. Okay. You're also going to have a steel ring. That ring is going to go on the inside. So, what you do, these cables, you want them down about two feet from the end. Like so. You're going to feed your ring onto the inside of the pipe, like that, just right at the very end. And then you're going to roll. cables back. So these cables are a little bit smaller than that ring. So the ring is forcing the pipe out and this cable here is forcing the pipe in. That way that this this ring here is now locked in place. It's going to keep your pipe from collapsing. Then you're going to flip the pipe over. This is the top of the pipe and you're going to do the same thing. So no matter how well you roll the stove up, you're still going to get little dents, little creases and stuff in your pipe. It's things like that. So that's okay. If that happens to you, that's okay. It makes no difference in how the stove functions or how it works. Um, it's, it's nearly impossible to bend one of these pipes in a way where you don't get any creases or, or bumps. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to set up your pipe once it's been burned in. So this is an old pipe of mine. It's been used forever, it's all wrinkly and crinkly and stuff, but I just wanted to show you. So this is how it's going to be stored. So you see how it wants to go into that circular shape, it makes it a lot easier for us. easily do it with one person. So it took me about a minute and a half to set up. Really easy. So that's it for the video. If you have any questions or you want more information on our products, you can head over to www.lightoutdoors.com. That's L-I-T-E outdoors.com. You can either scroll through our products or you can use the contact us button to send a message to me. 
You can also send me an email. My email is brennan at lightoutdoors.com. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, if you're having any, any difficulties. I'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching, guys.